Sarah, I think that we're just too hot to handle. You think so? Oh, I know so. If they knew us. Oh, yeah, because who says this is water, Sarah? Good point. Good point. It is Friday. It is actually water, by the way, guys. Don't mean to disappoint you. So we were just talking. I don't know what happened. We just got cut off. If you're joining us for the first time right now, I'm Natalie Diaz with Twiniversity. That's Sarah. She's our fancy, pansy, McNancy, uh, car seat passenger safety technician expert of Britax. And today we are all talking for the one for life. We just lost signal because I think Sarah and I are just too hot. And we were starting to have our conversation about the car seat that's before her, when we use it, how do we use it? So my question to you, Sarah, was do we start using this car seat at birth and then um, graduate through college? It also depends on how big you are in college, right, Sarah? We don't know. That's a good point. Now, a very good point. But yes, this car seat will start out at five pounds and go all the way to 50 pounds rear facing. So okay. it's going to accommodate that extended rear facing that we're all looking for in the uh, market today in the field to help keep our little ones safer, longer, riding rear facing. And then when we go forward facing using the five point harness still, it will go up to 65 pounds. And then we can use it as a high back booster up to 120 pounds. That's and crazy. 10 year expiration. And I know, Nat, you, you know, we're here, your Twiniversity talking about multiples, um, but you can use this for more than one child, right? If you have another child after your first one. Mm -hmm. It's also a great seat for grandparents because if they care for a single grandchild, you know, at different times, it's very easy to adjust. Um, very easy to install with the quick type installation technology. And again, it can be used for 10 years. So why wouldn't you get a one for life? Honestly, I have to tell you, when I speak to our families that come to our classes, it's it really comes up. It's now coming up a lot more. So it seems that once upon a time, people were being very uh, reliant on nannies. And it seems that most people are going a little bit more old school with grandparents. And so you don't want to have to buy six car seats because that's a lot. And here's the other thing, Sarah, sometimes people need six car seats. So they end up getting car seats secondhand or they end up getting them at a garage sale or they end like, like, I don't, could you just talk a little bit about the importance of being the original and only owner of a car seat? So we would, as a technician, as a safety advocate, we, I, would recommend that you don't use a car seat that you don't know the history of. So when you buy a car seat on those um, online markets or at a yard sale or a secondhand store, there's questions you can't ask because you always want to know, has that car been a car? Has that car seat been involved in a motor vehicle crash? Because almost every car seat manufacturer is going to tell you to replace that. But if you can't answer that question, yeah. do you know that all the parts are there? Are all the labels attached to the car seat? So you know how to use it correctly. Um, so using a secondhand seat is really prohibited, I'll say, or definitely not recommended by any car seat manufacturer. Um, usually when I'm talking to a parent one-on-one, -on -one, and I guess I am talking to lots of parents. Uh, yeah, one-on-one -on -one right now. This is, they're right there, Sarah. I, I would ask that or say to them, you would only want to use a seat purchased by someone else if that someone else is someone that you would trust your child's life with. Yeah because that's what you're doing when you put your child in a used car seat. Yeah, but now not only do you have an issue with it, um, you know, God forbid being in an accident, but you just said that this seat has a 10 year expiration. Yes. I don't think that people really know that car seats actually have an expiration on them. You are absolutely correct because often at car seat checks, and as crazy as this may sound, people will come in and 
um, it could be a grandparent, and they're like, oh, I had this, I had this car seat for my son or my daughter, yeah. and I pulled it out of the attic. Um, and, you know, you have to remember that your body language is saying everything to these families that you're talking to, right? So it's like, you very nicely have to explain why that really is not going to be their grandchild safe. Oh, we've said, you know, Sarah, so Sarah, you know that I went and I got my certification too, right? So yeah. I went and now guys, for those of you that are watching, you guys know me, I'm a little bit weird. So for the certification, you sit through two days or 12 days. I can't even remember. It's been a minute. But after that, you do an entire day of car seat checks. And I had always remembered the statistic that over 70% of car seats are installed incorrectly. Am I right about that percentage, Sarah? So probably depending on when you took your certification class nap. Yeah, that was, um, we would say three out of four car seats were used or installed incorrectly. The most, so, the most recent data that the National Highway uh, Traffic Safety Administration has released says that it's around 49, somewhere around 50%. So it has gone down a little bit, but you also yeah. have to remember that it's going to depend on where they did that research to yield those numbers. Sarah, the crazy part about that is I honestly didn't believe that statistic. I thought that it sounded so artificially high that there was no way that parents weren't doing it right. Okay. So now then this is what, I, this is like day one, right? That's what they tell you. And you're like, that's impossible, Jackie. Jackie was my teacher. That's crazy, Jackie. You don't know what you're talking about. That's not a real statistic. Do you know, Sarah, that on the day that we did the testing, we, I was personally watching or taking part of 12 um, car seat checks. Literally not one of them was right. I believe not one of them. I couldn't believe it. And you didn't believe it until you saw it. I didn't. And then in hindsight, I also know that I will uncomfortably tell you my, the twins car seats, every single one of them was installed incorrectly. I know it now in hindsight saying like, I remember installing that. I remember the latch. I remember, um, you know, the tether. I, like I literally could tell you my, my tether was too slack. I was using the shoulder belt and the latch, they weren't placed in the correct position of the car according to the manual of the car that I was driving. I was winging it. I, I could not, like, I'm, I'm very thankful. Thank you, God. We're good. But even me, that I would say I tried everything and I know that I gave everything my best, even I did it incorrectly. So now this is where I really, really want to talk about click type. Okay. Because this is where I think, the, and the people that came in and drove in that day that did have Brit tax car seats, we were like, dudes, it's a tiny little alteration to be perfect. Here's how to do it because the click type makes it so simple. Could you show us what that is and could we talk about that? Absolutely. If you can give me just a minute and I'll take Lucy out of the seat here. Aw, now wait, before you do, there's something special about you taking Lucy out. Let's talk about why this is different than any other car seats that are kind of in the same genre of car seat that's, you know, the, the one for life car seat. Because I know that this definitely has some unique things in addition to, um, to the click tight, right? So I think it, there's, there's the, the tether, the V-shaped tether in the back. So I don't know if you want to take her off because I don't know if we pull that or how that goes. But while we're doing that, that's something that I, I remember seeing that at the show and loving it. So here is our V-shaped tether. And because Lucy would be riding rear facing, um, it's attached to the shell here, but we would use this tether for forward facing children to help keep them from rotating forward in that frontal crash, which is the most common type of crash. Yeah. Something else that is um, part of Vertex's DNA is the safe cell technology that you'll see here. And all of our seats actually have um, safe cell involved or incorporated into their design. Mm -hmm. And that will actually crush in the event of a crash as the vertical 
load is applied to the car seat, it drops the center of gravity for the child, helping to reduce, especially that forward facing child from yeah. rotating forward. Um, something Sarah, else. And the, and the safe cell, you could see it right there. That's perfect. It's almost like, um, it, it's like a, a net or like a honeycomb. So it gives room uh, to compress Heaven yep. forbid there was an accident. And that is something that I remember when you guys came out with the safe cell technology. I was like, this is such, it's it's so obvious. It's such an obvious thing. And I couldn't believe that we haven't been using that since the dawn of time. Well, you know, Nat, you mentioned um, using uh, Britex seats and thinking about um, the technology. I've been with Britex for 18 years now. And when I think about when I came on board, the 65 pound harness was just launching into the car seat market. And mm -hmm. Ritex was the first one to bring that to market um, in the conventional car seat. And I mean, the, the car seat that we can go to, you know, any local baby store or retail store to purchase. And ever since we have just continued to revolutionize the car seat industry, mm -hmm. Um, and especially with click tight and the installation of click tight. So while I have Lucy turn be Beth. Sarah, do you remember when they when click tight was first announced? There was a click tight uh, car seat that spoke to us at the at like at, at the presentation. Yeah, click. One of my he, favorites. He um he traveled around with me quite a bit. We went to several him. locations. Um, I was very into that that car seat. I'd love to. I'd love a talking car seat. You had me at that. I really would like to bring that back, Sarah. Could we make a corporate recommendation? I would like to uh, see click more because that was, it was so funny because it was the first time that you had seen a car seat that does what you're gonna do. Yeah. And so to then see a talk was just a winner. But Sarah, while you're setting up and getting, uh, starting to get that ready, I have some good news for our watchers right now, guys. If you do not know, we are giving you an opportunity to win a $100 gift card to use any way that you'd like to Amazon. In these times, things are not normal. You need groceries, you need infant gear, you need, a, your kids are, you know, graduating from diapers to cute little uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle undies, doesn't matter. We want, well, really, Britax and Twiniversity want to help your family, especially now. And when we usually do our fun live feeds, it's always nice to have something. We always say prize time is what we say here, Sarah. I don't know if you've played with us before, but it is officially, it is officially prize time. So we're going to be giving you a $25 Amazon gift card right now. All you have to say is... Thank you, Britax. That's literally it. Just let, and the reason why we're doing this, actually everybody would wanna win this. We usually require you guys to say something during the live feed because let's say we were giving away like a bottle or something. Not everybody wants a bottle. Sometimes people just wanna come play with us and hang out with us. So we really do ask that you stay a part of this and you engage with us. So you could just say, thank you, Britax. For now, we will be giving away another $25 gift card. And we have a huge $100 gift card that we're gonna put a link to so that you could link over and enter to win. Okay, without further ado, Sarah, go for it. Show right. us. You know, so one thing we should have looked at now while we were here um, looking at the safe cell technology, but you'll notice at the back of the base, there's a red button. And yeah, that, that's the recline button. This seat has nine recline positions. Jeez. So you can get a really nice recline for that newborn young baby in the vehicle. Um, and then the, the most upright position we would use for booster mode here. And Lucy was a little bit young for, for booster mode. Um, but that's how we saw her best. That was just demonstration purposes only for Lucy. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, again, pretty much DNA top. The majority of all Vertex seats, we have a no retread harness. You just squeeze at the top. And here is our highest position. So once we get larger, you could sit in that. That would be you. That's an, an appropriate size seat for you. Look how tall that goes. Your torso is that tall? Maybe. Uh, infant insert, positioning insert. Uh, you would use this for a baby five to twenty pounds. 
Um, you don't have to use it, but if you do use it, you'll take it out and you'll see that that will open up the seating area here, two buckle positions. But what you guys really want to see is click tight installation. Oh, so yeah. you would lift this panel up. You'll notice that we've got some instructions here uh -huh. on how to use click tight, but there are two red buttons. You just squeeze and lift. Okay. You'll notice back on the side of the seat, I you've got this. labels for rear facing belt path and for forward facing belt path. So that's where I would put the seat belt, depending on which direction I was installing the car seat. Mm -hmm. Once I had my seat belt through there buckled and all, all you do is pull out the slack. You don't have to push, you don't have to pull. You know, Natalie, when, when clip tight convertibles came out, I um, happened to be at a conference and there was outside activities installing a car seat and they, the technicians were coming from station to station and I completely forgot about it. Put a dress on, had heels on and I get downstairs and by the time I realized that I've got to go outside and do this, I'm like, I don't have to change. And then they give me a law enforcement SUV to work in. I'm like, how am I going to install a car seat? Do you know that I could install that clip tight seat in that SUV? All I had to do was step up on the running board to buckle the buckle, and I would step back down and push it closed. And it didn't budge at all. It's unbelievable. It really, it is unbelievable how simple it is. I am a very fearful person, Sarah. I have to say, um, I'm afraid of everything. I don't know if you know this about me. You wouldn't think it. But when it comes to safety, I am very fearful. I'm afraid that I'm going to do something wrong. I'm afraid that I'm doing it. Like, like literally it bothers me. And this is one of those things, the click tight portion of Britax seats in general, it makes you breathe easier as a parent because there's so many other things to worry about. And so now in Twiniversity, we always talk about your seats and now so we talk about your seat in the first class, and I don't know, Sarah, if you know, when we teach classes, we have two different sections. So the first class is everything that you need to know before the babies get here, and the second session is for everything after. I have, since I'm now certified, um, I tell people, listen, if you want to drive in to the second portion, and you know, if you have your car seats, I'll check them out. When I see that it's a Britax seat, literally, I go like this. Whew. There's a piece of me that knows, okay, this is easy. Not only is this easy, and you know, as a car seat tech, guys, if you have never had your car seat checked, um, know that we will assist you, but our job is to teach you how to do it correctly. It's not just like, I'm gonna go over here and have a snack. No, you're getting in here with me. We're gonna talk about it. You're gonna run through it. This is how we're gonna do things. And when I show parents that a lot of people don't even know what click tight means, so they're buying a seat that they don't know anything about because we said it's a good seat, which is really nice. I, I love that they trust us so much. But when I showed them, they're like, oh yeah. Like now, and I'm like, see, this is that what I told cool. you guys. This is, this is everything. So yeah, so now how many seats in Britax's line right now have the clip tight? And like, is it easy to find? Like if we just wanted the infant one, just a convertible, when does it start? So we now offer three different lines of seats that have clip tight installation technology. We have a line of convertibles. And so what that means is it can be used rear facing with harness and forward facing with harness. We have a harness to booster line mm -hmm. um, known as the grow with you clip tight and grow with you clip tight plus. Um, they are forward facing only seats that you use the five point harness and then convert to a high back booster. And then um, our newest addition to that line again is the one for life all in one car seat that will take you from birth through booster mode um, that has click tight installation technology. Sarah, we have two questions. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're gonna do speed round questions because I know we sure. have some other stuff to cover. But first one is how many years of study have been done on the seat. So how long has Britax been developing the seat? You know, um, on average, it usually is around two years that it will take 
to develop a car seat. Um, and that includes testing. Sometimes it's a little bit more or less, um, but on average, I would say it was probably around a two year mark, you know, not don't hold me to that exactly to the day, but um, that's a, a pretty normal uh, time frame. Mm -hmm. so, you know, that includes everything from installation over installation after installation um, in real vehicles, sled testing. And you know, what's really um, great about Britex in our facility is that we have two test sleds right in our building. So when our engineers kind of get that skeleton to a point that they want, they can go out back and run some sled tests and see how it's performing. What do they need to change? What do they need to update? That's fantastic to have that in your own facility is great. And guys, a sled would just be a car. So yep. it's just the equivalent of, you know, crashing it to see what the effects of the seat would be. So that's what a sled test would be. Now we have another question and it said from Kat who said, I'm expecting twins and I have a toddler. Is it possible to fit three of this, these across in an SUV? It is, depending on the size of your SUV, whether it's a large SUV, a smaller SUV, um, but the larger the SUV, absolutely it is. Um, we have had these three across in the larger SUV vehicles. Um, and, you know, it could, depending on your vehicle size, when we say that and we're talking about three across, right, we're concerned about that width of the back seat. But, um, you know, honestly, I would tell you that when we also need to consider the front to back space, whenever we're talking about does a car seat fit and, you know, people will ask me, Hey, can, does this car seat fit in vehicle X, Y, Z? I can get it installed in that vehicle, but there's a lot more that I need to know about the dynamics of your family um, for that seat to fit because I can get it installed and I can get it reclined, but I'm only five feet tall on that. If you don't remember that, um, so you can put any car seat behind me rear facing when I'm driving and not have a prop, you know, it's going to fit. Yes. But if six foot somebody gets in my car to drive and that same car seat is installed, um, that may not be the case. And mm -hmm. I just point, you know, I point that out because often makes and models of car seats kind of get, you know, the, the shame for not fitting in a car. Well, it's not. It's not just the car seat, right? It's a marriage of the car seat, the vehicle, and the family. Yeah, the user. People, but, like, we really talk about that because true, Sarah, if you were driving, if you were the driver, if I were the driver, we have two totally different situations. And when people measure, they're so quick to measure width. They are, they rarely measure depth and you don't even think about this. Another thing that they need to think about is according to the vehicle's um, owner's manual, not yeah. every vehicle wants three in the back. You really have to make sure that your vehicle is will be equipped to handle three in the back. And if it is something with three rows, you have to make sure if you want a third, you know, a, a car seat in the third row, you got to make sure you can. You can't make assumptions that something's going to happen. And I've seen so many Twiniversity families blindly go out and purchase items and then it doesn't fit. And then they're so quick to blame a manufacturer when they had nothing to do with that purchase, it really has to do with, with preparation. Yeah, and just remembering that it, it's all a marriage, right? And, and the, the original, you know, the question was about three across and we can get three across in SUVs. I just want everybody out there listening to remember that we really have to look at, you know, there's so much to consider when we're selecting a car seat or car seats. And, you know, when we're talking about three across in it, it sounded like there might be two rear facing and one forward facing. Yeah. When I, um, sometimes when you have a mixed direction as well, initially, um, and if that's the case, two rear facing, one forward facing, and they all work in that configuration. Mm -hmm. Also check out what your future configuration would be like, especially if you don't plan on getting a new car anytime soon, or maybe the car you have is newer, um, because ultimately all three of those seats will end up forward facing, right? 
So make sure that you try every mode of a car seat in your vehicle, not just the one you need for the immediate time frame. I love that. I absolutely love that, Sarah. That's such, that's such smart, smart, smart advice. And with that smart advice, guess what time it is? Price time. Price time, Sarah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's our dance time. So guys, if you want to win a, uh, a $25 gift card to be used however way you like from Amazon to help you and your family out during this insane time that we're having, well, hello. Sarah, I haven't seen you since uh, the world went crazy, but I you look great. Know that time I saw you now. I don't even know. We must, we'll have virtual drinks. That's what we'll do. Okay. We'll have virtual, virtual games. I'm now very into trivia. That's my new thing. I love it. Um, but if you guys want to win, this is what I want you to do. I want you to say click tight and a really crazy emoji. Whatever one you want, just go for it. If you want to do a chicken leg, if you want to do an ice skater, we don't care. I want it to be something that it kind of like um, represents your current mood. So click tight emoji. Sarah, what would yours be? If you had it thinking off the top of your head, you would say click tight. What would your emoji be? Click tight. Uh, you know, I think that I would do a horse. A and horse? It, and it's not crazy, um, but I have a granddaughter who just turned 13 <gasps> and I am supposed to go on a special trip with her in July for her birthday present. Love and it. I don't know if this current situation our world is in is going to allow that to happen. So the horse is more meaningful to me because she has a horse and loves horses. I love that. Is there a horse's head? Isn't there a horse? Yeah, there's a horse head emoji and a horse emoji. Which one are you choosing? Just the head or the full horse? Either one. I guess whichever one came up for me first. I can't decide between two. I either want to be the smile with the hands like that, or I want to be the squid because that's my favorite emoji. I don't even understand why there's a squid emoji, but when they launched the squid emoji, my world got a little brighter. It's my favorite. It's my favorite of all the emojis. I do like the trumpet one too, which I used for this, um, but the hands, the happy face, I feel like is me. If there was a one that represents me the most, it's that uh, cute emoji. So yeah, so just say click tight with your emoji. I can't actually wait to go after this live feed to see what everybody put. I wanna see everybody's emojis. These are things that, that make me super happy. So now this seat is out now. One thing I wanna talk about, let's talk about clean comfort. Clean Comfort is a fabric, it's a fashion. It's the fashion that you see here on this seat. And what it, what is Clean Comfort? What does Clean Comfort mean? So the Clean Comfort, um, all of the gray fabric that you see here is a cooling fabric, right? Helping everything that we're doing um, within Clean Comfort is um, helping to keep the child cool, comfortable, and easy to clean. So cooling fabric, the black fabric that has a fair amount of contact with the child, the yeah. insert is a um, wicking fabric that's going to help pull the moisture away from the child's body. You know, when we talk about the babies are sweating, it doesn't keep the baby from sweating. It's just that wicking fabric that's going to draw the moisture away. And then it also includes the um, stain resistant nanotex um, technology to help keep it from staining and easy to clean. I love that. Um, so it is- Was so it just wipe, wipe and go? Um, you, can, you can sponge clean it and it will um, clean up fairly nicely. Yeah. So the black is the moisture wicking and then the right, I love that. So it's almost like um, like a, a Lululemon pants. So the black is the moisture wicking and then the gray right now is the stain resistant, which is yes. really great. So the stain resistant, we could just wipe clean and the moisture wicking. Oh, Sarah, the beast wants to come in. Let's let the beast in. Beast is in. Beast literally just sits outside all day. She's 
very weird. She loves being uh, not cooped up in the city. So yeah, so the black is the moisture wicking and then the, oh, the gray, I love that, yeah. So yeah, so we got that. Now, good news to Scott and Claudia, our two winners. Oh, let me give you my emoji. That's that. So that is, it's so great. So now where do we find this? How do I buy this today? And tell me, like, literally, is this available now? Like, I know there's so many things that are sold out right now, but you still need car seats, guys. So, you know. Yes, car seats are essential. Need. Okay, good. Um, so Vertex is an essential company, as, as all car seats are. Um, our car seats are available um, at both uh, many retailers. You can visit our website, us.vertex.com. Um, but what's even more exciting, Matt, is that if you don't buy it today, but you wait till Sunday. Yes, I Sarah. I believe that there is a sale that starts on Sunday with many of our retailers here in the United States. I love this. Yes, guys. So starting April 19th, the one for life will be 10% off at participating U.S. retailers. So in order to find out where this is going to be, where do we get the sale, you go to us.britax.com slash pages slash one for life. Yes. One for life. That's going to be my, uh, my sign for this car seat. This is so great, Sarah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I know that, you know, you probably were so busy with your online trivia, like other people we know today. And I'm glad that we found the time to take to, uh, to do this, but I love seeing you. I really do miss you. I'm so sorry that the shows have gotten canceled and that we won't get to, uh, to play together in person, but I mean, I'm so knock on wood, it makes my, my computer shake. I'm very appreciative for our very, very, very special Twin University partners that you guys are like, nope, you know what? The education doesn't stop. Yes, the world may be on pause, but people still need to know, people still need to learn. And Twin University always feels that people still need to win because that's where, where we get to, to have a little bit of fun. So this is really, really great. Sarah, thank you so, so much. Thank you, Nat. Um, I hope you have a great day and I'm gonna get back to my virtual car seat checks this afternoon. So if we want one, if we want a virtual car seat check, what does one do? What does one do? So what I would do when I'm conducting a virtual car seat check and you've submitted to us to, to participate in one, I'm gonna send you an email that we're gonna pick out a time and how are we gonna connect whether it's Facebook or Skype. Um, I'll send you an email maybe with some hyperlinks to installation videos. Okay. Um, this is a free service and we are um, helping families with any brand of car seat. Doesn't need to be Brotox. So and good. so I'll send you in links to installation videos for whatever car seat you have, just to kind of give you help along the way. Because like you mentioned earlier, even when we meet with families in person, we're not doing the work for you, right? We want to empower you how to do it um, so that you can attempt to install your car seat before we meet virtually. And then we're gonna walk through and take a look at how you got it installed. Is it installed correctly? Meaning if it's rear facing, do you have the right recline angle? Is it tight at the belt path? Does it move more than one inch? Um, and you know, I've done a lot of these for expectant parents. And so we're going to walk through harnessing and how to function your car seat, what a proper harness fitment looks like for a baby. Um, maybe if you've got a stuffed animal, I'm going to tell you to get that out. And we're going to harness that stuffed bear in your car seat so you know how to function that car seat. I love it. And Sarah, when you are doing a virtual car seat check, I know that when we're doing them in person, we're really looking at the car. We're looking at the whole car, right? So you're looking for projectiles. During um, a, a virtual check, do you go through with the family and say, okay, let's talk about, you know, what's in the back and getting a net and stuff like that. Do you run through the whole car or are we pretty much just focused on that seat? 
Well, in all honesty, now it's going to focus. I'm going to focus on the caregivers and their current situation. Um, expectant parents right now are so stressed out with the pandemic and the things that they are encountering currently that would not be part of their normal um, getting ready to de deliver their most precious cargo. You know, a, a lot of expectant parents are. They're concerned about, are they gonna be able to have their partner in the delivery room with them? Because that may or may not be an option depending on where they're located and, and the situation of the pandemic in that area. Yes. Um, are they gonna be exposed and or contract uh, the virus while they're in the hospital and the health of the baby? So in all honesty, I am judging each situation based so good, Sarah. on- on the interaction of that particular family. Yeah. Um, and I do follow up with them with an email, uh, different hyperlinks, a PDF of best practices for car seat safety, ages and stages. So if they happen to be that family that, you know, you can see that they, they can only take so much information in, um, they do have those resources available for them afterwards. And I have reassured all of them that, uh, you know, if they have more questions later on, reach back out to me. Um, I am grateful that Vertex is supporting me and being able to do this with families across the country. Again, regardless of what brand of car seat they have. Yeah, I love that you guys have done that. You've, you've done that for a while. It's, it's extraordinary. It's absolutely such a selfless thing to do for and and right now is you, there's a lot of companies that are doing very selfless things and they're like here's how we're giving back you guys always have you always have you are always you're always there for the community when the community needs you so i love that you're continuing you know virtual checks i love that you're a part of the Britax team i am so honored to be you know in the sandbox with you guys and we get to play together now for I feel like it's almost eight years or nine years we've been playing together. The first time I remember Kate attacking me at a, at a baby show at the W Hotel. I even remember where I was. Uh, yeah. But I remember the first time I met them and I remember seeing the Be Ready for the first time and it started my life with Britax and Twinity, Twiniversity's life with Britax. And guys, everybody say thank you to Sarah because that's the nice thing to do. So feel free to add in a horse emoji or the as a thank you, because I think that would be a nice, a nice gesture. And for all of you watching, don't forget, go to us.britax.com slash pages slash one for life. O-N-E number four life spelled like the word life. You could find more information there 24 hours a day. They have a great website. Check out their accessories as well. That's another thing that Britax is really, really known for is they have fantastic accessories that go along with your entire infant, toddler, you know, um, growing car seat experience. You will absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Sarah. And thanks to all of you for watching. Don't forget, we still have that gift card for you to win. So Julie is there virtually in the background. That's why she's the wizard because she's behind the curtain and she's typing things in for us. So Julie's going to throw up a link for you guys. Go enter to win, please. We want you guys to all have the opportunity, tell your friends, your family, grandma, grandpa, anybody that we could help. We really do want to help. Twiniversity wants to help you. Britax wants to help you. Take advantage of those virtual car seat checks. And guys, we're totally going to get through this. Let's hope Sarah gets to go on her adventure, her horse adventure. But we are going to be okay because you know what? That's how we do. That's just what we're going to do. So until next time, guys, I'm Nat, Sarah, say bye to the family. Bye guys. Take care. Stay safe. We'll all try. And until next time, guys, I will see you later alligators. Good luck. And I'll see you on Sunday for that sale. Bye guys.